as you all know, your body turns into fat when you actually eat fat. So that's only fuel that you need to burn. A lot of people will get more energy, they will have mental clearness, although initial transition period may be difficult. You may get a keto flu, you may have electrolyte abnormalities, all these minor things that can happen to even the healthiest person. But the question is, can everybody go on a keto diet? Can, will everybody have symptoms of keto diet? So these are the things we are going to talk about. So a lot of people think that the keto diet works, and I agree with that, keto diet works, but the question is how long it works, and the question is what happens after a prolonged keto diet, right? So let's talk about this. So you guys all know the, the good side of the keto, right? So you, your blood sugar goes on if you're diabetic, and you start losing weight, uh, and all that good stuff. But what are the things that you really do not know about ketogenic diet? Number one, you may lose a lot of muscle. Now, what happens when you're on a keto diet, guys? Yes, you lose weight, but you feel tired because your muscles run on glucose, and primarily glycogen has to be stored in your muscle for you to be able to work out. So if you're a guy or a girl who loves going to the gym, you are going to have problems in terms of your performance at the gym. Your muscles will crave for glycogen and the glucose, and your weightlifting, your cardio will suffer through it. Now, the problem is, if you trade your exercise for the diet, you're not really doing great for yourself, because once you stop exercising, your muscle mass goes down, and that's because you're going to feel tired on keto diet. So, especially if you're working out. If you're not working out, that's not a problem, but I think you should. Everybody should work out. Now, when you work out, your muscles will get weaker, and if you don't use those muscles, use it or lose it. So you're going to have less muscle mass. Now, your overall metabolism is determined by how much muscle you have. That's why guys lose weight a lot easier than the girls, because guys are more muscular. Uh, so, if you have less muscle mass, you're going to, it's going to be a lot easier. So let's say you go on a keto diet, you lose a bunch of weight, and, but you also lost a lot of muscle. So what happens if you come off of keto diet and start eating sugar, then you are going to gain a lot of fat, but you're not going to gain a lot of muscle unless you start working out like crazy. The problem is, once you fall off the wagon and you do not exercise for a while, it is very hard to get back into it. So as a result, I would suggest be very careful about not losing your muscle. And if that's the case, I would suggest eating some carbs right before or after the exercise, at least to keep the exercise going. I would call this a modified diet, and that works for me. I try.